Well, we are nearing the end of fall, and this is a sugar maple tree in the yard, and it is always the last tree to lose its leaves. Uh, I just love seeing the vibrant colors. It's always so beautiful um, towards the end of October, and so I wanted to show you this tree. So now let's go ahead and head on up to the balcony, and I will show you my container garden up here. This is the green stock system, and I believe I planted this out for you from seed in September. So I'll just show you how all the seeds are coming along. Um, at the top tier, I have a different kind of cabbages. I have some Swiss chard that's been there pretty much all uh, summer. The second tier, I have some bok choy along with a lot of spinach. I have been planting spinach everywhere, it seems. I just am kind of testing different areas to see how the spinach will overwinter for me. Um, I've had it overwinter in containers and just pop up beautifully the next spring, um, and then sometimes it will not make it. So I'm anxious to try it in the green stock system to see if I have an early spring harvest. So I love to just go out there and pick some fresh spinach leaves. I love to just eat spinach wilted, just barely wilted, in like a chowder or something like that. And then I also have some dill growing here on the third tier, along with chervil. The chervil is doing really well. And then, of course, some scallions. Um, they're coming up nicely. And I have a couple of plantings of cilantro here. And I've been using a lot of cilantro, too. The last couple of tiers, I also have more spinach and then lettuce. So I've been clipping a lot of lettuce for salads and whatnot. Now the nasturtiums you see here, uh, that was a volunteer plant. It receded from a plant I had in there um, earlier in the summer, so I'm leaving it in there, but I don't expect that it will make it much longer as the temperatures are quickly turning cold on me. So as I mentioned, I am um, harvesting a lot of spinach and lettuce from the system, and I've really been enjoying it. So the rest of the container garden, I'm basically just leaving my uh, cool season herbs out here, um, including my rosemary, which is not really too um, much of a cool season herb. But I am leaving out things like spinach and cabbage, even though I have some worms that I've gotten on my little cabbage here. So inside the house, I have this Meyer lemon tree, and it has um, really ripened up beautifully. I've been using these wonderful lemons, and this is my first real harvest of this Meyer lemon tree. I think I bought it in 2012. Uh, I think I bought it um, when I visited Florida on vacation. That's the kind of things I bring back for my souvenirs. I bring back plants. <laughs> so um, this Meyer lemon tree was one of my uh, souvenirs I guess I bought on vacation. Some people buy t-shirts. I buy, I buy plants. <laughs> but you have to be careful if you're taking them over state lines and that kind of thing to make sure you can grow them in your area. Now this is the same tree and this was in 2014. I just wanted to show you um, when you were growing a citrus tree or anything you may think it is dead and it is dying and so don't give up hope just hang on to your tree try to give it some nutrition um, here it was just popping out with blooms but it had lost all of its leaves and so now I just showed you a picture of it uh, and it is doing great so in my um, garage here I have my pepper containers and um, I'm keeping them kind of in the sun here as you can see the sun exposure is pretty good in the garage it changes and hits different plants at different times of the day um, I have been getting a lot more peppers on here than I would prefer I thought I did a pretty good job of taking the peppers off and harvesting them before I put them in the garage but always there are some that come on here um, I did leave a purposely leave a couple of these yellow ones on here because I wanted those to ripen up nicely but to my surprise I also had some red Caribbean habaneros that were on a plant so I went ahead and got those along with some of the yellow cayenne and um, I also had a few more of the Thai red so I've been I went ahead and just tried to clean them up as best I could and go ahead and get as much of the fruit off as I can because we are really about to get into the cold temperatures I have one plant here that is in, uh, infested with it looks like a white fly or something I am going to spray it and see if I can get it under control some white flies are very resistant to insecticides and if it doesn't work I'll throw that plant away so I'll go ahead and also water them just a little bit just like I showed you in my how to overwinter pepper plants that's how I like to do it and so I'll close the garage door I'll leave these in here on warm days I might bring them out to get it so they can get a little bit more sun so I hope you enjoyed the video if you did 
please let me know by giving me a big thumbs up. Also, I have for you on my channel a playlist section. And if you'd like to see more about how I overwinter peppers um, or my uh, pepper harvest for all of 2016 it's over there I have a playlist for you there I also have a playlist there for my container garden and other tours in the year of 2016 so thanks so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day